Well, guys, it's time to go to work in the shop. Oh, we're going to work on the snowcat tonight. Oh, all right. Well, even though our snowcat runs, um, we got to make sure that the choke works. It starts just fine when it's warm, but when it's cold outside, I'm not sure. So we have to make sure that our choke works. And the thing is, is we want to install an extra throttle on it or a, a throttle cable so we can, uh, you know, increase the throttle when we need to without holding our foot on the gas pedal. So we have our choke hooked up and we want to see if there's, huh. I don't know if there's a good way to install a throttle on here or not. Well, let's see if the choke works. So that's full on right there. And that's not what we want. So we're gonna have to make some adjustment to that. Now we'll see if that works. And maybe the nut tightened up on the back side a little bit. Okay. Why don't we take a look around in the cab? You guys wanted to see that. So our instrumentation is pretty minimal. We got some gauges over there. We got a uh, tachometer in the middle on the steering wheel, um, no spinometer. And oh, we have a spot for a throttle here. And uh, yeah, it's pretty basic, but we got some junk behind the seats here. What do we got? Oh, we got remnants of a carb kit. So it's had carburetor problems before, huh? Don't know what that was. Got an extra light. Oh, there's our other spotlight, our front light, our headlight. Hmm, might be able to fix that. Don't let it hit the ground. Oh, look at this. We got a throttle lock cable. Heck of a deal. We know where to use that. What else do we got? Oh, oh, we got a broken U-joint. <laughs> Don't know what that is. Oh, we got a fuel filter. Don't think that's any good. More cardboard. Uh, oh, we got a spark plug. R46TS. Hmm. Don't know if that's what it needs. And we got side panel stuff. Oh. Well, that's what we got in it. Not a lot. Oh, what do we got here? We got a U-bolt for a drive shaft U-joint. Hmm. Well, we'll definitely keep that on hand. Maybe even write down the part number of the box, except we can't read it anymore. Huh. Well, that's what we got in here. Um, time to clean it out and go to work. Okay.
Oh, wait a minute. We got to take the nut off here. Maybe we should take the wash. Okay, that looks about right. Okay. Um, looks like it might go right there. So if we slide it down here. Well, we could do that. We get a wrench. Might work. Well, that looks like that part might work. Now we got to figure out how to put it on the carburetor and let the uh, accelerator pedal override it. Ooh. I think I got an idea. I'll be right back. All right, I found what I was looking for. Now, let's see what we got in here. Filter for uh, an old quarter jet. Float for a holly. Ooh, no, that one won't do. Accelerator pumps for hollies. Power valves for hollies. Well, I'm not really seeing what I want in here, but maybe we'll make something work. Yeah, look at this. Oh, that might work. Oh, we may have this.
Well, that would be perfect, but it's a little hard to drill. Looks like we're gonna have to pick up a cobalt drill bit. We want something like this uh, fitting here on the choke to be able to go over here to slide on this rod. And then we'll put a stop on it. So when we pull the rod, we can pull against the stop and open up the throttle. But we'll be able to open the throttle even farther because the, the block will be able to slide on the rod. So we're gonna have to go get a drill bit. Yeah, let's hope this cobalt bit drills through this. There we go. We got a hole through it. Well, it pivots. And it slides on there. Well, that looks like it'll work until it doesn't. Should we try it out? seems to work well thanks for watching bsf recovery team keep wheeling be safe out there and maybe we'll see you in the woods